We have ClF4 plus 1. First, we're going to add up the valence. Chlorine is 7 plus fluorine is 7 times 4 fluorines. This means we're going to do minus 1, which equals a total of 34 electrons. Now we're going to draw our skeleton structure. Fluorine can never go in the center, so I'm going to put chlorine in the center, and it's surrounded by 4 fluorine atoms. we're going to add our dots. Remember, we want to give each element an octet. I'm going to start always looking at the center atom. Chlorine has two, four, six, eight. So chlorine is good. I'm going to add my electrons now around each fluorine atom. They each need three pairs to have their octet, giving me two, four, six, eight around each fluorine atom. Now, I'm going to check my total and so I'll count around my bonds first. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. This structure only has 32 electrons which does not match the total number of valence that I should have. I actually have the scenario of not enough. And when you don't have enough, you're going to add lone pairs to the center until you do have enough. Notice I'm only short by two electrons, so I need to add one lone pair to the center. And I'm going to just randomly add it right here. And I'm going to draw my bubble or my alien head pointing from the chlorine just to show that I have that lone pair on the center atom. We only draw the bubbles around lone pairs on the center. Notice I didn't draw them around the lone pairs on fluorine. Let's see another example. XEF2. I have 8 for xenon plus 7 for fluorine times 2, which is going to equal 22 electrons. So I'm going to draw my skeleton structure now. We're going to put the least electronegative element in the center, and because xenon is a noble gas, it actually has a zero electronegativity, which is the lowest possible. And I know normally noble gases will not form bonds. However, once you get past uh, krypton, or I'm sorry, once you gas get past argon, they actually are capable of forming bonds even though they don't need to. Xenon goes in the center, and I have two fluorine atoms, one on either side. And now I'm going to add my dots, which is step three. I'm going to start on the center always. So, so far, xenon has 2, 4, 6, 8. Moving over to the fluorines, each fluorine needs three pairs of electrons. And now, everyone has eight valence. We're going to check the total. And when I add my total, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. My total, again, is not enough. I'm short by two electrons. So remember, when we need more, or when we're in the scenario of not enough, we add pairs to the center until we do have enough. I only need one more pair, so I'm going to add this pair to the center. And all three of the lone pairs on the center should get bubbles or alien heads because they're all lone pairs on the center atom. And we always put bubbles around lone pairs on the center atom. We'll find out why when we get to section five. Okay, example number seven. First, add up my valence. Four for carbon plus six for oxygen times two is going to equal a total of 16 going to draw my skeleton structure. Carbon is the least electronegative, so it's going to go in the center. 
It's going to have an oxygen on either side. And now I'm on step three where I'm going to add my dots. Remember, start counting, or I'm sorry, start adding dots around the center first. Two, four, six, eight. And now I'll go and add my dots around the oxygens. Each oxygen needs three more pairs of electrons to have their octet. Now I'm going to check my total. And when I count my total, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 20 electrons in this case, as compared to my valence, this time I have too many. And a different situation has occurred. In order to deal with having too many, I'm going to do what's called add a bond and I'm going to lose two pairs. Now, I can only add a bond between groups or elements that are capable of triple and double bonds. And I can tell you that elements that can have triple and double bonds are going to be carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen. So anything in groups four, five, or six, basically, can have double or triple bonds. So you're going to notice that carbon's in group four and oxygen is in group six. So both all these elements can handle having more than one single bond. They can have a double or a triple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bond. I'm going to do that first between the carbon and the oxygen right here. However, that means that I have to get rid of a pair on both sides of my new bond. So I'm going to get rid of a pair of electrons on the oxygen and on the carbon. So let me just go ahead and erase those since I'm getting rid of them. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to recheck my total. And notice that I added a bond and I lost two pairs of electrons. So now when I recount, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I still have too many. So I'm going to have to add another bond and lose two more pairs. I'm going to add another bond here between this carbon and this oxygen because we try not to move up to triple bonds unless there's no other option. And I'm going to lose two pairs, one on either side of my new bond. If this is my new bond, I got to lose a pair on both sides of it. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this pair and this pair. And now I'll recount my total one more time. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Now I have 16 electrons, which means I'm finally finished. So my final structure is going to be this CO2, where I have two double bonds on either side of the carbon, and I have two little pairs on each of my oxygens. Add up my valence. Hydrogen is 1 times 2 hydrogens plus carbon is 4 plus oxygen is 6, giving me 12 electrons. Draw the skeleton structure. Hydrogen and fluorine can never go in the center and less between carbon and oxygen, carbon is less electronegative. So I've got a carbon with two hydrogens and an oxygen attached to it. I'm going to just randomly place them around. It really doesn't matter where. And now I'm going to add my dots, which is step three. Remember, add dots to the center first. Two, four, six, eight. Also recall that you never add dots to hydrogen, so I will not add dots to the hydrogens. I'm just going to go ahead and add the dots to the oxygen. Finally, I'll check my total. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Notice I have too many. And so what that means is I'll add a new bond from the carbon to the oxygen, and I'm going to lose a pair on both sides to complete my structure. I do not add a bond between carbon and hydrogen because hydrogen is not in group 4, 5, or 6, and therefore cannot handle multiple bonds. So my final structure is a carbon double bonded to oxygen with the two hydrogens on either side of it.